Um, what was some of the uh, most memorable experiences you have? Well, we had a lot of them. The some tell, were, tell them about learning to swim. The oh, poor guy. Oh, oh, that was that was a uh, uh, that was a scary for people that didn't know how to swim. When we were in boot camp, everybody had to jump in the deep end of the of the twelve foot end of the pool, swimming pool, I and these swim. poor. Poor guys that didn't know how to swim, it worried them to death, and I could see why. I was lucky I knew how to swim. I wasn't a good swimmer, but I could, I could <laughs> stay on top of the water and get out of it. <laughs> but these guys jumped off, and they were scared to death, and you couldn't blame them, because a lot of times, well, they'd go down, and they'd come up, and they'd be paddling around, and hollering for help, and they'd go down again. The guard, lifeguard some like, took their time to go after them. So <laughs> it wasn't a very pleasant experience for them. Some of them got sick, you said. Yeah. Water was that cold? Really? <clears throat> I'm guessing most of them learned how to swim, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I learned to swim. Uh, no. um, any other memorable experiences? Do what? Any other memorable experiences? Oh. I had one when we were going out. I, I was a radio man, but we took turns on a wheel watch. And we'd go out under the, the bridge, San Francisco Bridge, and head out in the ocean. And we took a wheel watch. And the, and the wheel was, it was, a, it wasn't, it was operated uh, electronically. But you, you, you still turned it, and, 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 the, and, the, and the, down in the, in the motor room, they had uh, motor, electric motors on it, so turned the, the uh, rudder. But anyway, we'd gone out, we'd, we'd gone about oh, a little ways past the Golden Gate Bridge, and all of a sudden they started going around in a circle. The rudder stuck. And the captain got all excited and started screaming and hollering, what was the matter with you? What are you doing? And I told him, I don't know. I said, it, it won't work. <laughs> so, so then they, they stopped the ship, and they, and they uh, went down to the major, in the, in the uh, motor room, and they operated manually then. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, it kind of scared me a little bit because I would be yelling at me like that. <laughs> Who what was just uh, the daily life while serving in the Navy? Well, uh, you, 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 you stood your watch, whatever your watch was. You had, you had to stand watches, a radio watch. I had a radio watch on the ship, and uh, other guys had a, a deck watch. And... Uh, uh, we had a, we had a regular routine. The meal times were regular, and by the way, we had good food. We had this, we had about the best food in the Navy. They claimed because of the work ship. Well, that's lucky. <laughs> On Friday we had we had baked ham, candied sweet potatoes. I remember. I always remember the candied sweet potatoes, raisin gravy, and <laughs> cooked cabbage. And I mean, it was good. It was delicious. We had a. Uh, a black man from uh, Tennessee and, and, a, and, a, and a white cook from Kansas City, and those between those two, they put on a heck of a meal all the time. <laughs> we were lucky for, for, for far as food was concerned. Yeah, no kidding.